Okay, good morning, everyone. I hope that you can hear me. And our topic for today is differential operators. Actually, um, it's higher order differential equation. Na. So let's start with um, the nth order na linear differential equation, homogeneous, and to be specific, homogeneous. Ano yung form ng DE na to kapag sinabing homogeneous tapos linear differential equation. So, but anyway, ano yung differential operator? Okay, ito yung objectives ng ating lesson for today. So, define and discuss the properties of differential operators. I will not be dealing, you know, and um, um, much time, you know, discussing these properties. Okay, apply the properties of operators in solving differential equations. Actually, yung property niya medyo, yan, madali lang din naman. Okay, now, firstly, what is a differential operator? So, ngayon, it's another notation, diba, to represent a differential equation. So, we have this um, capital letter or big letter D to represent, you know, a derivative or this is actually um, a notation to represent, to differentiate, okay? So D as a differential operator. Say for instance, when we say dy, okay, tanda na big letter D ayan, times y. So yun yung tura nito. Equal to, this is actually equal to first derivative of y with respect to x or first differentiation with respect to um, the independent variable x. So yan yung ibig sabihin ng operator, the operator. Yeah, when we say d squared y, so we don't say d squared y, it's actually second differentiation, okay? Or second derivative ng y with respect to x. Ayan. Kth derivative of y with respect to x, and so on. Kaya, ayan, mas convenient tignan pag gumamit tayo ng operator or ng capital letter D to represent higher derivatives kesa ito yung form na gagamitin natin. Okay? So, any questions? Wala naman po, sir. Alam nyo na ngayon yung D operator, ha? Kasi nga, we will be dealing with higher order differential equations. So, tapos na tayo dun sa pagsasolve ng first order DE. So, we learn, or you learn the techniques na, di ba? Or to identify, di ba, what kind of DE and what approach or what are the steps in solving that DE. So, you had, you know, separable DE, homogeneous, linear, Bernoulli's, ano pa? Exact, non-exact DE using integrating factor para masolve yun. Okay? Although you have, you know, to really um, have time to practice, you know, solving um, those kind of, you know, differential equations. Ito naman, so, yan, mga gagamit na tayo dito ng auxiliary equation. Okay. So I think naturo ko to sa, ano, di ba? Kailan, sa inyo ba, Casey? Prior to the quiz B. Nakalimutan nyo na siguro. Yan. Yung auxiliary equation. So here are the properties of differential, uh, differential operators. Okay. I will, I will briefly discuss, you know, each of the properties and then proceed tayo dun sa pag-solve ng um, nth order linear homogeneous differential equation, general linear, ayan. So if D denotes the operator, which is differentiation, ayan, with respect to X, then the function F of D is written as, ito yung form, where, of course, ito yung um, nag-represent dun sa function na F of D, okay? Nth order siya. So yung A na to, these coefficients, so these are constants, okay? In some cases, pwede rin naman na naka-define naman if they are not constants, okay? 
So yan yung form natin. So from the highest derivative to the you know to the term without you know the presence of a derivative in it. So and we call this the linear operator of order n. Okay. Now the second property here is d or the kth derivative actually times e raised to m times x. Hindi actually yan times parang ito ibig sabihin yan the kth derivative of this function e raised to m times x. Okay? And this is equal to m raised to k e raised to m times x. Okay, so to illustrate this property, kasi nga di ba sabi natin yung d is differentiation. So yung k na yan represents di ba kung anong, kung ilang beses ka magdi-differentiate or kung anong um, degree, I mean yung yeah, nth derivative or kth derivative siya. So say for instance, and to illustrate this one. So when we say d cube e raised to mx, this means that this um, exponential function or this function has undergone, you know, thrice ng differentiation. Okay, so parang it differentiate this function three times. Okay, so this property shows that if you can be able to see, di ba, d raised to three e raised to mx is similar to m raised to three e raised to mx. Yun yung result niya. So, Paano yan, sir? So, tatlong differentiation, di ba? So, yung unang differentiation is that, so, syempre, ang gagawin natin is um, first differentiation muna. So, ibig sabihin, may dalawang beses pa na pag-differentiate na mangyayari. Kaya, um, naka-factor out itong d squared na to. Okay? So, nakakuha niya yung point. So, d squared times d is d cubed. Okay? Pero, ibig sabihin niya kasi is to differentiate, right? So, differentiate this exponential function. So, yung derivative niyan is, siyempre, pag exponential. e raised to mx, copy mo lang yan, tapos i-differentiate mo yung um, exponent na m times x with respect to the independent variable, which is x. Kaya, ang sagot dyan is m times e raised to mx. Nasundan? So, yan yung first differentiation. So, yung pangalawa naman, of course, we are going to differentiate again kasi dalawang beses pa siyang i-differentiate, right? Now, um, the function that we're going to differentiate is m e raised to mx. Okay? Take note that m here is a constant, okay? Or any integer. So now, we are to differentiate this one. Um, we copy m and then we differentiate e raised to mx, which is e raised to mx, differentiate the mx, that is m, so m times m, m squared. Okay, do you follow? And finally, so we are to differentiate, okay, may natitira pang isa, di ba, na the operator. So, ibig sabihin, we are to differentiate this function. So, this is, ayan, differentiate m squared e raised to mx. Now, we copy m squared and we differentiate e raised to mx. So you copy e raised to mx and then differentiate m raised to uh, m times x and that is m. So m squared times m is m cubed. Okay, so it shows that itong the operator raised to 3 and times e raised to mx is equal to m cubed e raised to mx. So yun yung ibig sabihin. So this m actually, ito yung gagamitin natin, this will be um, an auxiliary, okay, na, uh, na value to represent, you know, the d operator para masolve natin yung mismong solution. Okay? So, ano lang yan, gradual lang na pagpapakita na, ah, okay, yung m pala, ito yung gagamitin natin to represent the d later. Question pala doon sa property. Okay? Kasi yung m... Makita niya yan for the entire, you know, um, grading period. Ayan, ano yung M na yan? So, M is the value of the roots of the auxiliary equation. So, to give you, ano, yan, spoiler alert. <laughs> pag nakuha mo na yung M, so, magiging madali na yung pag 
pag-solve or pag-find ng answer dun sa problem. Okay, so number three, uh, of course, ito ay linear operator, di ba? Of the, yeah, it's the first property natin. So this actually represents e raised to mx. Yan. So bali yung d. Ang nangyari, so once you have actually performed yung differentiation, so this will represent f of m. If m is a root of the auxiliary equation defined by f of m equal to zero, then, okay. Dahil dyan, itong um, function na to, okay, times the d operator is equal to zero then. Ayan, may mga sample illustration pa yan, pero hindi ko na aya. Ayan. The auxiliary equation is obtained by replacing d. So, yun lang yung idea. So, replace d by m in f of d. Okay? Ayan. Actually, mahaba itong mga um, illustrations na to. Pero pinakita ko na lang yung mga um, kumbaga important na equations Ayan, for this operator. Ayan, d minus a. Madaan na d represents what? Derivative or to differentiate. Okay. D minus a raised to n times e raised to ax times y is equal to, so laging my exponential function prior to that, the nth, der uh, nth derivative of y. Okay. Uh, Mag-proceed na ba ako sa... Okay, sige, dito na tayo. General linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient. Now, the form of a general linear homogeneous DE with constant coefficient is this one. So take a look at this. Again. So A sub 0 times the nth derivative of Y with respect to X plus A sub 1. Ayan. Nth derivative. Ayan, nth derivative minus 1. Ibig sabihin, so, kung 6 derivative to, so the next one is 5th derivative of y with respect to x. And so on. So this is linear, okay, with constant coefficient. Take note, paano natin malalaman na homogeneous siya? May tanong? Paano natin malalaman na homogeneous? What? Okay, e equal to zero. Okay, yun lang guys. Now this form may also be written in a compact form. Diba medyo masakit sa mata, diba kapag ganito yung notation na gagamitin natin. Okay, anong notation yan? Anong tawag dyan? Leibniz ba yan? Or... Anyway, so we are going to utilize differential operator. Okay? But there are instances na like gumagamit pa rin tayo ng primes like yung given na uh, um, DE is for example, third order na DE. So, pwedeng in terms of prime. So, gawin lang natin kapag naka-prime siya, isulat natin in a form na naka-D operator. Okay? Yung ating equation. And then, write its corresponding auxiliary equation. So, yan lang. Solutions of general linear homogeneous DE. So the first order linear DE, ayan, if you remember, pero homogeneous kaya naka-equate to zero. Diba? Usually, um, sa linear, first order linear, ano na-recall ninyo? Merong right-hand side ka ng equation. So pwede, ayan, diba, pwede. Um, yung right-hand side mo is a function of x. Diba? And that function of x would, could be a constant. Tama ba? It's a pure function na sa right-hand side. So in this case, zero. So sa lahat ng yeah, general linear na DE, zero para masabing homogeneous siya. Okay? Where A is a constant. Now, ano bang pinakita dito? 
has the exponential solution. So gusto niyo bang malaman kung bakit naging ganyan, exponential solution? And so the solution to that is y equals c sub 1 e raised to minus ax. So pwedeng hindi na ilagay yung 1 dyan na subscript dun sa c, arbitrary constant, kasi nga first order lang naman siya. Now, tandaan ha, the solution to this first order linear DE is C, C e raised to minus AX. Now, sige, taposin ko muna to, tapos try ko illustrate, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung parang, ah, okay, ito na pala yung may mga apat na cases para masolve natin yung um, linear homogeneous differential equation. So, yung case 1, distinct real roots. Case 2, repeated real roots. Case 3, distinct imaginary roots. And case 4, repeated imaginary roots. Okay, so mahaba pa naman yung time natin. Meron pa tayong next week to finish this uh, entire, you know, yung apat ng cases. Okay, so kayang-kaya pa. So kahit two weeks tayo mag-deal sa ganitong the, uh, topic. Yan. Cases. The next will be non-homogeneous. So, kaya pa ng uh, bago mag -bakasyon. And then, yun na lang naman yung topic natin, variation. So, pwede na natin i-combine um, sa isang meeting lang. Okay. So, prior to that, sige, sabi ko, pakita ko muna yung itong illustration na to. Bakit C sub 1? Pero feeling ko alam nyo na to. Gusto nyo ba ipakita ko? Depende naman sa inyo yan. Eh. Kung ayaw nyo, eh di, madali naman akong kausap. <laughs> okay, so let me illustrate this first. First derivative of y, and with respect to x plus ax equal to zero. So this is a first order um, linear differential equation. So homogeneous, pag naka equate to zero. Okay, in terms of the general, you know, the form of a general linear homogeneous differential equation. Now, sabi natin it has um, it has an exponential solution. So, paano na nasabi? Diba, paano natin isasolve yung linear equation? Diba, hinahanap natin yung integrating factor. Diba, Tebes? So, yun. Ano ba yung ating formula for finding the integrating factor? Diba, it's e raised to the integral of and uh, p of x. Ano ba? Kasi, yeah. Ano ba yung, hindi pala, ay ba to? Ano ba yung kanina natin, sorry? Ay, sorry pala. Kita, stand corrected ha. P of x, dx. So what is our P of x? Our P of x is a. Diba? So e raised to integral of a dx. Now, this will be e raised to ax. <laughs> okay na. So, ito na yung ating integrating factor. So, what's the answer to this one? Um, pag linear, di ba yung left member is always equal to the product of the integrating factor and the dependent variable, which is y equal to what? In right-hand side natin, which is Ano guys? Zero. So automatic constant na to. Diba? Plus C. Yan sa right hand side natin. So dahil dyan, if you are asked to solve for Y, so we are going to, kita pa ba? Ayan. Divide both sides by e raised to AX para matanggal yung e raised to AX dyan. And this will be Y equals C over e raised to ax, or pag tinaas natin, magiging e raised to minus ax. Okay? So, yan na. Kaya may exponential solution siya, e raised to ax. Okay, now in terms of differential operators, we're going to represent this first derivative by dy plus ay equal to Zero. Now, factoring out y, so magiging d plus a y equal to zero. So, ito represents, ano din siya, linear equation pa rin siya in terms of differential operator na notation. Ngayon, para masolve natin, 
di ba, exponential solution. So, in terms of the auxiliary equation lang. So, ang gagawin lang natin, di ba, sabi doon kanina, f of m is equal to zero. So, we replace d by m. So, magiging m plus a equal to, hindi mo na kailangan isulat yung y dyan. Okay? So, doon ka lang mag-focus sa the operator equal to zero. Now, m is equal to, m is the root of the auxiliary equation. So, m is equal to minus a. Since yung ating kaninang solution dun sa, is an exponential solution yung de, so that is equal to y, um, I mean, y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to m x. So yung solution kapag ganyan, c sub 1 e raised to minus a x. Okay? Ganun lang. So hindi na natin kailangan pang integrate na ano. So in terms of the auxiliary equation lang yung value ng root ng auxiliary equation. Okay? Ano pa? Mm, basta, constant coefficient. Okay? Nasundan? Constant coefficient. So, ano pa bang mga example? Kunya, may number ka na. Example, um, y prime plus 3y equal to 0. Okay? In terms of the operator, ito ay d plus 3, kita ba? Ayan. Y equal to 0. Now, kapag ka we are to find the auxiliary, equ auxiliary equation, this will be M plus 3 equal to 0. So what is the root? M is equal to minus 3. And what is now the solution of this DE? That is Y equals C e raised to minus 3x. Okay? Ganun lang. Pero kung first order naman, kung nakalimang, yan, pwede naman mag, ano ka, hanapin mo muna yung integrating factor. Pero yung idea is, ito na, guys. Kailangan ko, um, constant yung coefficient, ha? So here, 1, 3. Para magamit natin tong exponential solution. Okay? Okay na? Sige. Yan, kahit hanggang case 2 lang. Okay, for case number 1, yan, distinct real roots of the auxiliary equation. May tanong ba dito, guys? Auxiliary equation. Alam niyo na yung auxiliary equation na yun yung nag-represent dun sa the operator. Okay? Without the y. So let the roots of the auxiliary equation be, for this instance, for this case, sabi distinct real roots. Ano ba pag sinabing distinct real roots? Magkakaiba yung kanilang roots. Okay? Dapat walang magkakapareho dyan. Masundan? At real yung roots. Ano lang naman, dalawang kasi lang naman, di ba? Real or imaginary. So, nakuha? So let m sub 1, m sub 2, and so on be the roots of the auxiliary equation. So, yung solution nito, tandaan na, pag distinct, pag magkakaiba, the solution is denoted by y sub c. Bakit y sub c? Complementary solution because we're dealing with yung the left-hand side of the equation. Actually, homogeneous siya, kaya zero yung nasa right-hand side niyan. Later on, kapag meron ng nasa kanan, y sub p na nang tawag natin doon or the particular solution. Okay para makuha yung part na yun, yung solution. So y sub c is equal to c sub 1 e raised to m sub 1 x plus c sub 2 e raised to m sub 2 x and so on. Okay, ganun lang. Alamin lang natin yung value ng m na yan and then, voila, isulat mo na lang yung mismong value ng root dun sa solution na to. Okay, tandaan ha, this is for distinct real roots, yung value ng ating um, roots ng auxiliary equation are magkakaiba or different. Okay? Nasundan? Tandaan na, pag nakita mo naman, di ba kunyari, yung d operator na present doon is yeah, d to the fifth. Ibig sabihin, fifth derivative yun or it has undergone five na differentiations. So you are expecting to have ilang arbitrary constants dun sa ating equation. So, lima. Masundan? Pag second derivative, syempre, dalawang arbitrary constants. 
pagkakinuha na natin, di ba, yung mismong solution niya. Pag third derivative or pag d cube yan, tatlong arbitrary constants. That, that's why may mga subscripts na, di ba? C sub 1, C sub 2, C sub 3. Question? Wala. Wala naman. Wala naman. Basta tatandaan niyo ha. Case 1, distinct or different real roots. Okay? Real roots. Lagi ko nang in-emphasize yan. Let's have an example. Solve the DE. Ito, second order lang to eh. So, kaya-kaya. And take note ha. Constant coefficient. Guys, pag meron ng x dyan, okay, suko na ako. Hindi ko pa alam yun, sir. Okay? Ganun <laughs> sabihin. So, hindi pwede yung magamit yung ganong solution. Okay? Pagka merong coefficient na um, yeah, may mga variables na involved dun sa coefficient. Clear? Yan, para akong sirang plaka. So, con constant coefficient ito. <laughs> Feeling touchscreen yung laptop. Eh. Akala ko <laughs> kita. Ayan. So, here, 1, 1, negative 2, equal to 0. Okay? Nasa right-hand side, dapat 0. Klaro ba tayo dyan? Mga kapatid. Apo <laughs> siya. Yes, Feeling ko lang kasi nasa ano ako yung may mga sadyante ako dito. Ayan. Drawing room pala itong kapatid. <laughs> okay. So, isulat ko muna and then may solution ba dito? Eh, wala. So, mag-shift ako mamaya dito sa aking glass board. Ayan. Y double prime plus y prime minus 2y equal to 0. Let me know kung hindi niya nakikita yung mismong um, writings, guys, ha, para lakihan ko or yung sulat. Kita naman po, sir. Okay. Yan. Kasi nagbabago yung ano niya. Okay. Sana HD, no? Yan. Y double prime plus Y prime minus 2Y equal to 0. So, we are going to solve this linear, or, yeah, linear homogeneous equation. Linear DE. Yeah, second order siya. So, we are going to write first into its differential operator na form. Okay, bago natin siya isulat, bago natin isulat yung kanyang auxiliary equation. Now, so, Y double prime means D squared Y plus D y minus 2y equal to 0. So this is the other way of writing this differential equation. Or pwede rin ganito. Diba? So d squared plus d minus 2 times y equal to 0. Okay? Ganun to din. So, tandaan nyo, I have written into three different forms. Gusto nyo isa pa? So in terms of, you know, the Leibniz na ano, this is d squared y and dx squared plus dy over dx minus 2y equal to 0. Okay? Sige, burahin ko na lang kasi nga, we're going, not, we're going to solve this equation. Now, para masolve natin to, so we are going to write the auxiliary equation. So, yung auxiliary equation is yan, f of m equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, papalitan yung d ng m. Okay, replace D by M. Of course, without the Y there. So here we have M squared. Ito yung auxiliary equation. Okay, replacing D by M. M squared plus M minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, now ano yung gagawin natin? We are going to find for the roots. M squared. Ilan yung roots na in-expect natin? Dalawa, sir. There are two roots, di ba? Yan, kasi m squared. Ganun yung idea. So, factor natin to. Paano ba? Yan, by inspection na lang. So, dalawang roots. M, M. Two, di ba? So, two tsaka one. Two, one. Yung nasa gitna is positive, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, positive dito, minus dito. So, check, check natin. 2m minus m is m. 2 times negative 1 minus 2. Okay? Ganun na yung factored form. Tama ba, Casey? 
Tama sir, tama po. Okay, dahil dyan, naka-equal sa zero. So, we have, pwede mong i-label yan as m sub 1 yung una. So, pwede mag-interchange yung formula. So, m sub 1 yan, plus 2 equal to zero. Ito naman, m sub 2 minus 1 equal to zero. Pag wala na to. So, yung first root is m sub 1 equal to negative 2 yung second root is m sub 2 equal to positive 1. Kita ba? So yung roots natin are negative 2 and 1. So pwede magkabaligtad yan, ha, guys? Kasi arbitrary constants naman, pwede namang mag-interchange yan sila. So dahil dyan, our solution will be, ano guys, c sub 1 erase to m sub 1x. Ano napansin pala ninyo? Real roots, di ba? at distinct yung roots, hindi sila magkapareho. Isa negative 2, yung isa 1. So, we can use this solution. C sub 2, erase to M sub 2, X. Okay? Dahil dyan, our solution is Y equals C sub 1, erase to negative 2, X plus C sub 2, erase to X. Ayan. Hindi mo na kailangan pang insulat yung 1 dyan. Ayan. Ayan na. This is our solution. This is the problem. This is the solution. Okay? Approve, sir. Approve. So our next problem is, okay, 4d cubed minus 13d plus 6, okay, times y equal to 0. So this is a differential equation, linear Differential equation, homogeneous, na equate to zero, okay, with constant coefficients. Now, to solve this, so we need to write its auxiliary equation. Okay, and what is that? Replace D by M. So, the auxiliary equation for this DE is for M cubed. Tandaan na, when we write the auxiliary equation, there is, you know, you, need, you don't need to write the Y there. Kaya ang auxiliary, di ba? <clears throat> so, for M cubed minus... 13m plus 6 equal to 0. So this is now the auxiliary equation. The next step is to determine the roots of the auxiliary equation. Since m cube, m cube ito, we are expecting to have three roots. Three roots na equation. Okay? Ganun naman, di ba? Kasi nga third order DE siya. So... Yan, the arbitrary constants na present dun sa ating solution is tatlong arbitrary constants. Unless, di ba, kung, kung naging zero man yung term na yun because of you know, given conditions later if you're, give, uh, if you're given some conditions para masolve yung particular solution. But anyway, so let's deal with this first. We try to use synthetic division or ano pa bang way para ma-solve to? Kasi nga naka-cube siya, di ba? So by synthetic Division. So, pag synthetic, kopihin natin yung mga coefficients. Di ba? We write the coefficients. So, here, for m cube, ano yung coefficient ni m cube? 4. Anong coefficient ni m squared? Wala, sir. Okay, 0. Lalagay natin. Anong coefficient ni m? It's minus 13. So, we just copy the, the sign. Ano yung constant? Yan, 6. So, yan. Now, we are going to Yung synthetic, it's actually a trial and error, di ba? So mag-isip ka ng, syempre, you start from the pinakababang number, di ba? Ano yung, yung ilalagay natin dito, yun yung isa sa mga roots niya. Okay? So let's try to think. Pa, yung root na mismo to. Um, six. So try natin two. Okay? Or one. Now, sa so division na to, so bring down four. Tama ba? And then, we multiply. Di ba? 4 times 2. So, 8. And then, bring down. Yan, 0 plus, tama ba? 8. 8 times 2. <laughs> 16. Negative 13 plus 16. That is, so, kailangan negative 2 pala, no? Nakikita ko na siya. So, negative 2. Okay. So, 
four times negative two. Kaya trial and error nga ito. Diba? Ayan. So, four times negative two, negative eight, negative eight, negative eight times negative two, negative positive 16. Ayan. So, magiging positive three. Three times negative two is minus six. Kailangan zero yung pinakadulo. Ganun yung sa synthetic. Okay? So, isa sa mga roots natin. Ito na, isa sa mga roots. Pwede mo nang sabihin na m sub 1 is equal to negative 2. We now have one of the roots. Now, ito naman, pwede mo i-continue yan or pwede mo i-factor na lang na by inspection to. So, this is now the coefficient of m squared. Diba? So, 4m squared minus 8m plus 3 equal to 0. Okay. So, isa sa mga roots na ito, diba? So, sulat ko muna ulit, ha? 4m squared minus 8m plus 3 equal to 0. Alam niyo yung factor grid, guys? Ayan. Nung elementary kami, tinuruan kami nito ng teacher namin. Elementary. <laughs> factor grid. Ayan. So, quadratic lang to applicable. Ayan. Pwede rin naman na, basta ya, even yung exponent. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, kita niyo ba yung dinowing ko na box? Sige nga. Ano, pala, ano pala yung roots dito? Mag-factor grid ako. Ha. Share ko lang. Alam niyo to? Factor grid? Hindi na, sir. Hindi. Ayan. So yung unang term, yung unang box, yun yung para sa unang term, the 4M squared. Um, ito naman, this is for the last term. Ayan, so 3. Tapos, yung middle term natin, ito yun, ito yung result ng pag-add sa dalawang boxes na to. So, minus 8M. Kita? Ito, if a factor natin. So, ito ay 2M times 2M. 2M times 2M, 4M squared. Right? Ano yung factors ni 3? 3 and 1. 3 times 1, 3. Okay, ang nasabi dito, minus M yung middle term. Ibig sabihin, so, um, may negative, negative dapat yung result ng product na to kasi ito yung multiply natin. So, gawin natin minus 3, minus 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So, itong box na to, by multiplying these, itong nasa dalawang box. Diba? 2M times negative 3M is minus what? 6M. 2M times negative 1 is minus 2M. Tapos i-add natin sila. Yan lang. Negative 6M plus minus 2M is negative 8M. Okay? So, nang ibig sabihin yan, ito na ngayon yung factors. Which is, kita ba? So, 2M minus 1 times 2m minus 3 equal to 0. Gusto mo i-check? Dapat ito yung result ha, guys. So dahil dyan, we can now determine, di ba, yung roots. So yung unang, ter unang root na, ang pangalawang root nito is 2m minus 1 equal to 0 and then the next 2m minus 3 equal to 0. So this will be our second na root. Kita pa ba? Sige. Punta tayo dito. <laughs> so here, 2M. Wait lang. Guys, lakihan natin. 2M minus 1 equal to 0. So we have 2M equal to positive 1. So M is equal to 1 half. So you can say this is your second root. Okay, M sub 2. The next one is 2M minus 3 equal to 0. So this will be 2m equal to positive 3. So m is equal to 3 halves. This is your m sub 3. Ayan. Tatlo na yung roots natin. m sub 2, m sub 3, and this one. Okay. Do you follow? May tanong? May tanong dito sa ginawa ko? Pwede rin namang ba inspection to guys? Ayan. No? Pwede naman ba inspection? So, ano yung factor? 2M. 2M. Ano yung factors nito? Diba? 3 tsaka 1. 
Ganun din naman eh. Ito, just in case lang naman, ito yung parang other way of factoring that one. Eh, negative, di ba? So, ito minus minus din to. Equal to zero. Di ba? Product na ito, minus 6m, minus 2m, minus 8m. Ayan. Okay. Sige. May mga cases na mas madali yung inspection kaysa sa dun sa factor grade. Yung factor grade, ano lang yan? Panigurado lang. Tinuruan lang kami na ng ano. Basta, first year high school yata ako nun or grade 6. Tinuruan kami ng ganyan. Encounter nyo ba yung ganyan? Hindi. Hindi, sir. Hindi. Okay. Walang ganyan, walang ganyan sa school namin, sir. Eh. Oh, kasi advance na kayo, di ba? Kami kasi mga ano kami. Medyo abakos pa yung calculator na. <laughs> Urain ko nga ito. Now, the solution is, since we have... Ano napansin nyo sa mga roots, guys? Di ba yung m sub 1 natin is... Sulat ko muna, negative 2. Yung m sub 2 natin is um, 1 half. Tandaan na, pwede mag-interchange yung mga yan. Pwede magka... Pwede yung m sub 1 mo is 1 half. Okay lang yun. Basta present yun dun sa mismong solution natin. Okay? It doesn't matter kung nauna ba yung m sub 3 or nauna yung root... Yung m sub 3 mo sa yung kay Miss Tagaylo, yung kanyang M sub 1 is 3 halves. Yung kay Abigail naman, yung kanyang M sub 1 is 1 half. Okay? Tapos yung kay Mr. Sabandal naman, ito negative 2. So, okay lang yun, guys. Basta proper yung pagkakasulat ng solution na merong arbitrary constant. So here you have 3 halves. Tama ba na positive? Okay. So the solution now will be Y equals C sub 1 Tanda na, magkakaiba yung roots nila. So, ito yung solution. C sub 1, e raised to minus 2, x. Tanda na, dapat may x dito. Plus, C sub 2, e raised to 1 half x or x over 2. Plus, C sub 3, e raised to 3x over 2. Tara! Yan na ang ating sagot dun sa DE. Problem, solution, roots of the auxiliary equation. Question? Okay, now for this problem, we're going to utilize the quadratic, you know, formula in finding for the roots. Okay, so if we first write the auxiliary equation, m squared plus 2m minus 1 equal to 0. And the formula for finding for the roots using the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And a here is the coefficient of m squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of m, it's positive 2. And uh, c is equal to negative 1. So we now solve for the roots. So this formula actually represents 2 roots. Okay, we write it in here. So negative 2 plus or minus square root of yeah, um, 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times a which is 1, c is negative 1, and then over 2 times 1. So the first term will be um, negative 2 plus or minus here we have 8, right? So square root of 8, 8 is 4 times 2. So this is 2 square root of 2 over 2. So we now have the roots negative 1 plus or minus square root of 2. Okay? Is that right? So the roots are m sub 1 will be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 2 and m sub 2 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 2. It means that they are distinct roots. So the solution is y equals c sub 1 e raised to negative 1 my, uh, plus square root of 2 times x plus c sub 2 e raised to minus 1 
minus square root of two times x. Okay, hope you can see this one. Okay, pareho ba tayo ng sagot? Abo, sir. Okay na. So yan. Distinct, pag distinct yung root, so yun yung solution natin. Now, let's go to case number two. Okay. We are done with case number one. Let's now go to case number two. So the case number two, repeated real roots of auxiliary equation. So if the roots of the auxiliary equation are repeated, say for instance, diba, ang tatlo yung roots. Diba? So you have m sub 1, m sub 2, m sub 3, and these roots are the same. So pwedeng m na lang ilalagay natin. And this is how you write your solution. Okay, guys, take note. Ah. Y sub c is equal to c sub 1, x raised to 0. So x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Bali, may mga x, x's ka na sa bawat term. Kumbaga, yung unang term, okay, walang presence ng x dyan kasi nga in x raised to 0 is equal to 1. The next term will have x or x raised to 1 is x. Pangatlong term is x squared. Okay? So, pag, katatlong, uh, pag tatlo yung roots, yung, mataa, yung x na makikita mo dyan is x squared. Okay? Yung highest exponent or degree pala ng x na makita mo is second degree. So mag minus 1 ka lang. Kapag apat yung roots na magkakapareho, so yung pinakamataas na x na makita mo is x cubed. Okay? Pag lima yung x, pag limang roots na magkakapareho, so x raised to 4. Nakuha? Guys? Okay. Okay. Sige. Um, tignan kayo ng illustration. Wait lang. Sige. Um, stop share ko muna. Yan. For example, magsulat ako ng mga roots. Ha? Yan. M sub 1, for example, is 2. And M sub 2 is equal to 2. Ayan, pareho sila. So yung solution natin will be y is equal to c sub 1. So pwedeng pabaliktad or pwedeng doon ka na magsulat ng x. Dalawa yung roots na magkakapareho. So yung solution natin is pwedeng c sub 1 x e raised to 2 x plus c sub 2 um, e raised to 2 x. Or pwedeng y is equal to C sub 1, x plus C sub 2 times e raised to 2x. Okay? Or, pwede rin sabihin y is equal to C sub 1 plus C sub 2x. Ayan. E raised to 2x. Okay? So, these are acceptable na solutions. Okay? Tandaan ninyo ha, dalawang roots yung magkapareho. So, dalawang arbitrary constants pero meron ng x dyan na present dun sa solution natin. Pwede rin combination ng mga roots. May dalawang magkapareho at saka isang distinct. So how do you write the solution? So sabihin natin, meron kang x, uh, m sub 3 which is 1. So gagawin lang natin, we just add. So plus c sub 3 e raised to x. Okay? As is lang to. Walang magbabago dyan kasi dalawa lang naman yung nag, ano eh, dalawa lang yung roots na nag kapareho. So, hindi yun, hindi pwede yung sabihin na x squared yung mataas. Nasundan nyo ba? So, pwede rin dalawang 1 na magkapareho. So, m sub 4 mo is equal to 1. So, pag ganun na case, ayan, sinusot ko na yung mga other na possibilities. Ha? Kasi the, the, yung way ng pagkukuha ng roots is kayang-kaya nyo nang gawin. Eh. Yung gamit yung synthetic, yung factoring by grouping, Etc. Etc. So this will become what? C sub 4. My x ka na dyan, e raised to x. So ang mangyayari, the solution is yan. Dalawang magkapareho, dalawang yan. Magiging, you can say y is equal to 
c sub 1 x plus c sub 2 times e raised to 2x plus sabihin natin, ayan, c sub 3 plus c sub 4 x e raised to x. Ganun. Ganun lang. So, pwedeng mauna yung, ayan, pwedeng dito yung x. Okay. Okay lang din naman yan kasi may mga arbitrary constants naman eh. Unless, di ba, kung particular solution. So, kailangan may value ng arbitrary constants. Okay. So, yan lang ang ating topic for today. We have dealt with two cases pero we will be solving examples next meeting dun sa ito sa, sa case number two. Okay. Sige, it's 11.31. I'm sorry, na-late ako.